Yo, 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 guys, Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Dove, so an early one, actually. Um, and things seem to move fast in the world of football. I think two days ago, less than probably 40 hours ago, this just came out of the blue. Um, Casemiro to Manchester United, and it looks like the deal is going to happen. So before you get into it, if you're new to the channel, to like, share, and subscribe to uh, Devil Studio, follow us on Twitter, United X, and smash the notification button for latest uh, Manchester United news and more. So, Fabrizio Romano has actually just tweeted this morning. There are a couple of tweets over last night, but he actually has just tweeted this morning, and he said Manchester United are working to get Casemiro deal approved in the next hours. So, literally in the next couple of hours, we should be getting deal agreed. Medical expect within forty hours. So, what? That's it's Friday today. So, you know, basically over the weekend, once Real Madrid will approve the proposal. The proposal is this four year deal for Casemiro. He's obviously 30, so to 34. Option for a further season, so to go to 35. Also confirmed 60 million euro and 10 million add ons bid on the table. So 60 million, so that's probably around about um, 50, 55 um, a million, um, and then 10 million. So essentially, in football, we'll be paying about 50 million pounds for Casemiro, which, you know, I think. I think it's fine, you know, like it's it's weird. I have this weird mixed emotions about this, not because I think that Casemiro is a good signing. I mean, we need to sign a midfielder. Um, United need to sign a midfielder um, before the transfer was over. But it's just like, it's just, it's weird because, you know, it's just out of left field. It clearly was a panic buy. It clearly wasn't planned. Casemiro doesn't seem to be, at least from what I can see, the type of player that Tenagu wants. You know, he's not a ball playing um, midfielder, not someone who can go and get the, the ball from the, the, the defence. You know, he's more like a, you know, a recovery tackler kind of DM. You know, so we needed a DM and I'm glad that we do have a DM. So, but he's not the, he would have been the type of DM that Oli would have liked put, put, to put it out there. But, but Ten Hag, I'm not entirely sure. So that's why, you know, I'm going to, um, and then on top of that, I don't think this should distract from the fact that I still want, you know, the glaze out of Manchester United Football Club. And it is always interesting how you see this, there's this, they get this pressure and then they're like, right, okay, buy, you know, this person and it'll distract them. We, it, people shouldn't be distracted. I think the glaze should still go out of this club and people should support this Sir Jim Ratcliffe bid. Um, but this is obviously a football channel still and we have to talk about it and, yeah, it looks like Casemiro and United. I mean, I suspect Real Madrid are going to get this because Don Perez, um, you know, I think realistically he was only going to offer um, Casemiro probably a two-year deal um, with maybe slightly less wages. Casemiro is reported to be earning somewhere between um, 300 to 400k a week. Um, and I think that obviously it's a more lucrative deal uh, and possibly Casemiro, much like Varane in a sense, wanted a, diff wanted a different challenge. It's definitely going to be a major challenge at Manchester United, so, but there you go. Um, United have their midfielder. Ideally, we should buy another, but let's see. There's still more time in the transfer window. Anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts on this transfer deal. If you're new to channel, like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil with Tujo. Follow us on Twitter, United X. Do you think Casemiro improves this squad? Have a nice day, everyone, and cheers.